Hi, Preston Sandal with Home Inspection Carolina, and today we're going to be talking about water heaters um, and residential. Um, usually in residential, there's two basic types of uh, water heaters that we mostly see, and that's going to be electric and gas. Um, primarily, I want to talk about gas uh, this time. We're going to talk about inspection points that we look for on a gas water heater. But first, I need to tell you a little bit about electric water heater. Uh, typically, they have two elements, a higher uh, element and a lower element. Um, you know, we're talking about a, uh, a water tank. It's usually going to be 40 or 50 gallons, uh, glass lined uh, with insulation. Uh, I'm sure you've seen them. Um, and you're going to have some sort of temperature control. There's a couple inspection points. The, the big thing that goes out with these is the uh, elements will go out um, and you can check just to make sure they have a continuous uh, uh, um, circuit um, and also leaking, which will also carry over into gas. So uh, obviously gas is uh, my preference because of the recovery time. And we're not going to talk about uh, you know, instant uh, gas water heaters. I like those too, but that'll be a discussion for another time. So what we're going to talk about now, and I'm going to go to a diagram, is a gas uh, water tank, uh, gas water heater with tank and uh, some of the inspection points. So let's go to that graphic. Okay, so uh, we are looking at a diagram of a gas water heater, and I want to talk about uh, some inspection points. Uh, so there's a couple of things we're going to do. First, when you go to inspect a gas water heater, you're obviously going to look for leaking or corrosion. Uh, you find corrosion around the burner. Um, this is the gas line here. This is the drip leg, where there, if there's any sediment in the gas, it has to have this. Uh, so that it'll settle out there. It goes into uh, the dial, the thermostat control. This is where you know you light the pilot. I'm sorry, there's a pilot light control and the dial of you know how hot or cold you want it. And usually there's a vacation setting. Um, the here's the pilot light, the thermocoupler, the burner is here. This is where you would really look for corrosion, uh, obviously leaks or anything uh, of that nature. Um, also, we're going to look at the drain to make sure it's not dripping or leaking. And, you know, if it is a drip there, just see if you can tighten it up. Um, I'll talk more about that in just a second. Um, you know, you're going to look for any corrosion here. Uh, look for any deposits or soot around the uh, draft hood or the vent connector uh, so that uh, something may not be uh, venting quite as well or there could be some back drafting there uh, or something restricting the flu. That's a telltale sign. Um, and you obviously have your cold water coming in where this tube goes all the way in because you want the cold water down at the bottom of the water heater um, because as it warms up, the warmer water is going to rise and then it's going to come out the hot water. This is actually something you want to check on an inspection. Every once in a while, you'll get one where <clears throat> they actually have the cold water going in the top and the hot water drawing from the bottom. It will actually work. Uh, but it because uh, it's just going to have to heat it a lot more and you're using a lot more energy. You really want the cold water to go down to the bottom. So it'll stay on there, which is cold and hot. And if you put your hand on them and move it up a little bit ways, because they're both going to be a little warm right at the uh, water heater. And if the one that's supposed to be cold is hot and vice versa, uh, they're reversed. And that's bad and that's cost you a lot of money. Uh, you're going to check the draft hood again, look for debris, anything like this. Um, you really can't check the sacrificial anodrod during inspection unless there's usually a little bolt there. You could take it out. Uh, what this does is um, it allows the bacteria to have something uh, to attack. Uh, or I'm sorry, to ionize. If this thing goes bad, you'll get a real sulfury smell. So when you're checking um, the water, check hot water. If you get a sulfur smell when you run hot water only, more than likely this sacrificial anode rod has gone bad. Now, this is a temperature pressure relief valve or TPR valve right here. This is to keep your uh, water heater from becoming a bomb. Basically, there's a spring there, and if the pressure gets above 150, I think, PSI, pounds per square inch, or uh, 220 degrees, that, that spring will depress and this will leak out, but it'll keep that from blowing up. Again, temperature pressure relief valve. Um, over time, though, sometimes they'll just start leaking, uh, and uh, 
at that point they need to be replaced. Fortunately, they're not that expensive. So we're going to check for leaks of the TPR valve, uh, make sure there's no leaks around here, corrosion here, any uh, corrosion gas leaks here. Um, usually you can smell it um, because they put something in the gas you can smell. Uh, we have a gas uh, leak detector. Um, another thing you could do is put like soapy suds of water over it and if you see it bubble up. Um, okay, so here's the baffling that catches the, uh, the flu and it goes out. So let's review. 50-gallon uh, water heater, we're checking down at the bottom for corrosion leaks. Uh, leaks around the drain valve, TPR valve to make sure that it's not leaking. We're going to check uh, the uh, water, hot and cold, make sure they're not mixed up, make sure the draft hood is drafting. We'll also uh, have a CO detector around that, see if there's any excess CO coming out, which would be really, really bad. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a drip leg here. Um, that's basically it uh, as far as water heater maintenance. Uh, you probably want to attach a hose to this and get you a, like a five gallon bucket and you want to drain it out each not well, let me rephrase that just turn that on when you first come out there's gonna be some sediment in the water until it goes clear you're just draining out the sediment uh, shut it back down and that will increase the the life of your water heater uh, if you have any questions about water heaters or home inspection, please go to our website, homeinspectioncarolina.com, or give us a call at 704-542-6575. I hope that has been helpful. Uh, if anything else we can do in there, again, there's a bunch of checklists and uh, lots of uh, resource information on home inspection at homeinspectioncarolina.com. Thanks.